The following story was captured on video serendipitously at a meeting of 800 care providers. The speaker is a mother who lost her daughter at one of our leading U.S. hospitals, and this was only the second time that she had spoken to a public audience. We just happened to have a video crew on hand, and we were shooting a video of experts for a scholarship program when she began to speak. We just let the camera roll. I began noticing that every time she saw a drink, she would scream for it, and I thought this was strange. I was told not to let her drink. While a nurse and I gave her a bath, she sucked furiously on a washcloth. As I put her to bed, I noticed that her eyes were rolling back in her head. Although I asked the nurse to call the doctor, she reassured me that oftentimes children did this and her vitals were fine. I told her Josie had never done this and perhaps another nurse could look at her. After yet another reassurance from another nurse that everything was fine, I was told that it was okay for me to sleep at home. Two days later, Jack, Relly, and Eva were brought to the hospital to kiss their beloved Josie goodbye. Josie was taken off of life support. She died in our arms on a snowy night in what's considered to be one of the best hospitals in the world. Tony and I decided that we had to let the anger move us forward. We would do something good that would help prevent this from ever happening to a child again. It seemed the best place to start was with Johns Hopkins. Over the past year and a half, we have worked with the hospital to create the Josie King Patient Safety Program. Together, we launched the program last week. Josie's death was not the fault of one doctor or one nurse or one misplaced decimal point. It was the result of a total breakdown in the system. It was the result of a complete lack of communication between the different teams. It was the result of doctors and nurses not listening to a concerned parent. It was the result of a combination of many errors, all of which were avoidable. 98,000 people die every year because of medical errors. Hospital errors are among the top four leading causes of death in the country. This problem is unlike cancer, AIDS, or other diseases where we must wait for a scientific breakthrough in order to save lives. Hospitals are a man-made epidemic. Nurses and doctors make mistakes and lives are being lost. These human errors need a human solution. You are the only ones that can solve this problem. The end of the Josie King story is yet to be written. The family settled out of court and took a portion of the funds, started the Josie King Patient Safety Program at Hopkins, and established the Josie King Foundation. We thought the story was so compelling that we donated the funds for production and distribution of the tape under two conditions. First, that we could give the videos away to hospitals if they make a donation to the Josie King Foundation. And second, that all such donations would be directly used to improve frontline care by the center. Since we produced the tape, administrators, physicians, nurses, and trustees have donated more than $250,000 to the Josie King Patient Safety Foundation. The video has been produced in a number of other languages as rapidly as possible to meet the need of international audiences. The work of the Josie King Patient Safety Foundation has been recognized by the Wall Street Journal and a number of other organizations. To make a donation to the Josie King Patient Safety Foundation or order additional tapes and DVDs, go to the Josie King Foundation website at www.josieking.org. Thank you for your donation and honoring Josie King.